Here we want to talk about some useful property of expectation and variance. So first thing is the linear property of expectation. So consider A and B are constants, so they are not random variable, and X and Y are random variables. So what we have here is the first one is linear property, means AX plus B, which A and B are constant, can be take the A out and B out of expectation, so it's A expected X plus B. Okay, so it greatly simplifies a lot of calculation. And why this is true? Because expectation is summation, and this is basically following from the summation property. The next one, again, we have A X plus B Y. So we can take the A out and take the B out. So it means uh, everything can be uh, treated as uh, very simply a linear property. Okay. Another one is uh, some property for variance. Um, so A and B are constant and X and Y random variable. So here we can write um, variance at, as a two part. Okay. First is expect the value of the squared uh, random variable. Okay. So you can calculate the squared uh, random variable. Okay. And minus the squared of expectation. Okay. So that is the very useful, useful way to calculate uh, variance because sometimes it's very difficult to calculate. This is a very nice formula. The second one is uh, a property that is a very interesting is uh, this property is the uh, is uh, where variance of ax plus b you add a constant and constant doesn't change okay first there's no b here and a if a square so this interesting property is uh, due to the fact that when variance is measuring this person right so if you move the b right add b and subtract b whether we didn't say b is constant is positive can be negative can be positive but doesn't really matter if you shift uh, the random variable okay doesn't really change the variance okay but if you scale up or scale down x then uh, the variance will scale double okay because of uh, we square so that's why it's not a but a square here the variance of x plus y okay this little bit different from expectation will be variance of x plus variance of y but you have two times covariant x and y okay so if x and y independent so you can you can really become a linear property right where x is equal to where x plus where y but most of the time if they are not independent this covariance will be uh positive or negative but will not be zero okay so that is the idea so let's say example where often this is useful in calculating portfolio uh return so suppose the mean return and the variance of stock x are 10 percent and uh 0.05 and these for the uh, stock Y are 5% and 0.01 and they're independent, okay? Independent means covariance is zero. So it's suppose a portfolio that divided into two stock, right? So the portfolio return will be equal to uh, Z, which is 0.5X and 0.5Y. So portfolio return will be 0.5X plus 0.5Y, okay? Which can be written as 0.5 or 10%, 0.5 or 5%, which is uh, 75, 7.5%. 7 okay, variance, right? Uh, because they're independent, right? So we'll be variable of 0.5x and variable 0.5y. And 0.5, you take out with the square, right? We squared it. So it'll be equal to 0.015. Uh, so this is how. Uh, uh, we do uh, calculation of expectation and variance in application.